Hey guys, for the last week or so, this has been my setup for playing games on the Xbox Series X. I've got my Xbox controller and in the 3.5mm port, you can see that I've got a cable connected to these headphones. And these are the headphones I want to talk about today in this video. So these are the EKSA Star Engine E5000 Pros and they were kindly sent out to me by EKSA. Now, they retail for about £60 in the UK about $70 in North America. You can pick them up on Amazon, but I do have a 15% discount code for you guys in the description area if you buy directly from them. Now, design can be subjective, but I do think these headphones look really good and they're very comfortable to wear, even for long periods of time. And you can use this headset with your PC, with your Mac, with your phone, with a PlayStation, with an Xbox, with a Nintendo Switch. But bear in mind that if you're connecting to an Xbox and you use that 3.5mm audio cable, 7.1 surround sound will not be available to you. But with all other consoles and computers, that is an option that you can use. It does have an adjustable microphone and as you'll see in the microphone test later, it does do a very good job of removing background noise as well. The E5000 Pros are packaged incredibly well. Inside the box, you'll see the headset inside a nice carry pouch. There's a user manual. There's a detachable microphone with a microphone phone cover. And there's three cables. The first cable is a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. The second is a type C audio cable. And the last cable is a type A to type C USB extender. What I'd like to do at this point is give you a closer look at the E5000 Pro gaming headset. But before I do that, I just want to quickly show you the accessories again, give you a closer look. So this is a carry pouch that comes with it and it actually shows some marks on it here which aren't really as visible in person. I think the lights are showing them up. But it's a nice kind of velvety pouch and it's got a drawstring and it's a very simple idea. You put it in like so. Fits quite well and at the back of the pouch you can see, you know, website details, etc. Now, my opinion of this is that this is a, is a fantastic little bonus. This is not something I expected in this price range. I think if you were carrying headphones like this around though, a lot, you know, going to school or going to a friend's house, etc., a hard carry pouch or case would be a little bit better, but those are a little bit bulkier, they're a little bit heavier as well. So I guess it's a preference thing. I think around the house, this kind of pouch is nice to help you tidy up, but if you're traveling a lot, Maybe a carry pouch would be better as far as protecting these. But as I said, I do think it's a nice bonus. So what I've got here is the detachable microphone. And this does, as you'll see, move around very easily. It's quite strong. I've got no worries about this breaking over time. It's quite flexible. And then we've got all the cables here. Now, the reason these are a little bit messy is because I was just extending them. I didn't realize that the length of these cables are on the back of the case, but they are. But the two main cables, the 3.5mm and the Type-C to Type-C are 1.5 meters in length, whereas the Type-A extender cable is one meter in length. So between these you have a 3.5mm Type-C and a Type-A connection, so that's pretty good. Now, as you saw earlier, I have been using the 3.5mm connection with this headset when I played on my Xbox. And it's worth noting to Xbox users that when you do connect to this headset using this 3.5 millimeter cable, you don't get that 7.1 surround sound. And I I mean, I've, I'm not an audiophile. I have tried to listen to the difference when connected to my PC whilst I'm gaming on uh, this computer, but I, I, I've not noticed the drop in quality as, as much as I thought it would. I think it's still fantastic via the Xbox. The audio quality is still really good. So I don't think that's an issue. Don't I don't think most people are missing out. Another thing to note is that when you're connected with a 3.5mm connection, this green LED light, which you'll see in a second, is not available. It doesn't light up because it's not getting power. So put these cables to the side for a second, and I'll bring out the long Type-C cable. That's 1.5mm cable, and I'll plug this in. And we'll get going and we'll see what this is all about. But before I do so, you can see the Type-C connection there. Oh. I've got it there. Sorry, that's just me being... There you go. That was 100% my fault. <laughs> Try to do this under the camera. So you can see the pulsing effect there. Like that. So before I go on, I just want to quickly show you the back of the case. I don't want to bore you too much with specifications, but like I was saying there, 
It's 1.5 metres or 4.9 feet for the main cables and the extender is 1 metre or 3.3 feet and you'll see some other specifications there but I won't bore you with them. Check out the website if you want to see all of that in detail. So I'm now connected to my uh, computer. The headset is now connected and you can see exactly what I've done there. I'll do it better this time but you just plug it in like that and that's that. That's you connected. And actually, you can't see this, but it's actually loaded up the app that, I, that I've downloaded for this for this uh, headset. It loads it up as soon as I connect this to my computer. Uh, the other connection that we've got here is obviously this uh, microphone boom arm, like so. And this locks in quite quite well, actually. When, you, when you've got it plugged in, you'll see it like that. And there you go. That's how it's going to look, like so. You can move it around. Very easy to bring it you know, closer to you, away. I'll take this microphone out and um, just now just to show you better, but you can see you've got left and right in the headphones. Now, as far as, you know, the strength here and things like that, you can't fold these up. And as far as breaking them, I'm, I'm always cautious of doing that. I don't like to, you know, do that to headphones. I've seen a lot of people do these kind of tests. Generally speaking, I look after my, head, my headsets, my headphones quite well, but you can see there is a little bit of flex there got the EKSA branding on top and I do like this design you know you just you can adjust the headset like so like that it just goes in and out like that so I do think this will fit most heads and um, you know the plastic here isn't the thickest I will, I will note that out that's maybe something to be cautious of and just be careful of but the actual headphones are really comfortable to wear very easy to put together and adjust them to your, your your head size. Now, one of the things that I, I did, know, did notice right away is that there's no buttons on the right ear cup, none at all, which to me would have been a good way to put some buttons on the other side, just to quickly go to, you know, to save you going to here where you've got a few different options. Would have been good to maybe have one of the buttons here or perhaps on the ear cup, but everything here is on this left ear cup. And what you've got here, you've got the volume up and down. You've got a mute button. So you push that in, push that out, and then you've got this multi-function button. Now you'll see, I'll show you this in the manual. But basically, if you press this once, it goes from 7.1 surround sound to stereo. But if you hold it in, that green light should go off. There you go. So it has switched off. You just have to hold it in for a few seconds, and then you know you can turn it back on. So the manual explains everything that I was talking about there. It's in lots of different languages, as you can see, and there's a few pages for each language. So it shows you what's in the box, it shows you what each of these parts are, and here it shows you how to operate it. So you've got your volume control, you've got your mic mute button, and you've got that multi-function button where if you long press it, it turns the LED on and off, and if you press it once, it goes from surround sound to stereo. So from a design point of view, I really like these. I think they look good. And I think they're built quite well. And I do like this black and green combo. I do find it's fairly easy to adjust it for your head size, small or large. And from a usability point of view, it's very easy to put this together. You have to put this here, like so. That's me connected. But also to actually use it when you're gaming. I found that you really don't have to ever use this because you're only using this to change from 7.1 to stereo. and you never do that in game so that button is just something you're never going to have to use what you will be using is the volume control a lot and the mute button that goes in and it goes out like that so it stays in once you've muted it and i am used to having the volume control on the cable itself with wired headsets but i've got used to it now that you know i just adjust it there and if i want to mute it i just pull my finger down to there so once they're on like i do that and then i just go down a little bit and i can mute it I mean, this is something you have to do for every headset. You need to get used to where those buttons are and quickly react to where they are. Overall, though, I do like the design of these. I think they're pretty cool, and I think most people would like them too. As you can see, I'm wearing the EKSA Star Engine E5000 Pro headset, and this is what it looks like when you've got the headset on. And what you're listening to just now is being recorded using this headset's detachable microphone. But before I talk about the audio quality from a recording point of view, I'd just like to quickly touch upon my experience of using it from an audio quality listening point of view. 
Now I've been using this headset primarily with my Xbox Series X, but also with this PC here. And I've been using it to play games, to watch YouTube and to watch Netflix. And in my opinion, these headphones are fantastic for that. The audio is great, very deep, very rich. The bass is good. I've just found the audio quality to be good. And, you know, I can sit for hours using these and they remain comfortable. Now, these aren't noise cancelling headphones, but because of this over ear design, I do eliminate some background noise. So for me, for example, in this environment, in this room, I do get some noise from this PC because of the fans. But when I've got this headset on, it eliminates, it pretty much totally eliminates it when I've got this on. Certainly when I'm listening or, you know, to music or watching a video. So from an audio point of view, I found these to be very good. Now you'll see an application here in the background. And this is an app that I've downloaded from the EKSA website. And if I show you it here, you can see that is quite a basic app, but it's quite a useful app for just changing the EQ for audio. So if you've got 7.1 surround sound enabled, you can choose from deep bass, FPS, mobile, or standard. But if you don't want it to use any of the presets, you can customize the EQ as you see fit. And there's similar options there if you go for 2.1 stereo, pop, rock and roll, deep bass, jazz, classic, standard, and then customize as well. Now the last option here is related to the microphone, which is a nice segue to that. And as you can see there, that mic ENC is automatically enabled. It's pre-selected. And if I disable this environment noise cancellation, you'll hear a lot of static. You'll hear a lot of buzzing, etc., which is coming from this PC in the background. But I'm going to enable that again. Now, in my opinion, it's good that that is pre-selected because it does a good job of removing background noise. But it is pre-selected also when you connect to your Xbox, to your PlayStation, to your Nintendo Switch, or to your mobile. It is a feature that is pre-selected, and the app is the only way to really disable it. But in my opinion, it does a very good job of removing that annoying background sound from the microphone. But it's, it's good to know that that's actually going on, that that feature is happening. Now, from an audio recording point of view, from a microphone point of view, I've spoken to my friends about this and I've asked them for some feedback and their feedback was that it sounded crisp, it sounded clear and in their opinion it sounded really good, it sounded as good as some of the headsets that they've got that cost over 100 bucks or even over 200 bucks. In their opinion at their end they said it sounded good. Now one thing that I did, one issue that I did run into with the Xbox and this is something that does seem to occur with random wired headsets on the Xbox, is that if you're in a party and your headset volume is set to full, then the other players can hear themselves loop. They'll kind of feed back the audio back to themselves, which drives them crazy and makes them not want to be in a party with you. Now, the solution that I found is that if you put the headset volume down to about 50, 60%, they can't hear themselves anymore. There's no more feedback. Now, it's worth pointing out, it's not really an issue with this headset per se, because that issue was completely eliminated when I went into game chat. It was only in party chat. And it was completely eliminated when I used the Xbox app on my phone. It's only on the Xbox in a party that that issue seemed to raise its head. So it's more of an Xbox issue rather than this headset being the, the, you know, the culprit, being its fault. But it is something to be aware of. But the solution is to bring the volume down to 50, 60 percent. It's not ideal because you, you're not hearing the audio as well as when you're you know, setting yourself and not playing with friends. But it is a solution. Now, I'll let you guys be the judge of the audio quality because I have been speaking with this microphone for a few minutes now. And I'd say that's maybe a little bit too close. It's probably going to peak. Whereas if you've got it out there, you know, it's a little bit too far. I think for most people, you're going to set it kind of a halfway mark and that's comfortable. You know, it's not in the way and it feels like a natural position. Now, my opinion of this audio after listening to a lot of recordings that I made through this PC and through my phone is that it's crisp, it's clear. The audio quality is really good, but I do find at times it feels a little, well, sounds a little bit echoey in my opinion. Sounds a little bit echoey. Now, again, like I said, I was speaking to my friends. They don't seem to feel that that is the case, which is probably because when the game's running, you're not hearing it, you know, like that. You're not hearing any kind of echo when you're playing the game. 
It's only when you isolate the audio and you record it like I have through my audio recording applications that you notice that there is a little bit of an echo there. But for the most part, I think for this price range, this microphone is quite good. And no one that I've played for played with has complained really. So I think the audio quality is good, but you guys be the judge. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the audio recording capabilities of this headset, this E5000 Pro gaming headset. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the EKSA Star Engine E5000 Pro gaming headset. I think the overall package here is fantastic with the pouch, the user manual, the headset itself and this high quality detachable microphone which is really well made actually. I really like how solid that is. And obviously you do get a lot of different connection cables here, 3.5mm, Type-C and Type-A. And that's one of the reasons why I really like this headset because I've been mostly using this with my Xbox Series X but I love the fact that I can use this with my PC, with my MacBook, with my Windows laptops, with my phone, my iPad, my PlayStation 4, my Nintendo Switch. This is a versatile headset that can be used with any game co gaming console, any system, any platform, which makes it a great headset to have around the house, either as your primary headset for gaming or as a backup. So I think in that regard, it's fantastic. The design is really good. I love the black and green. I like the build quality. I think this is pretty good for this price range. I think you're doing very well for you know 60, 70 bucks. I think the build quality is good here. They're very comfortable to wear as well for long periods of time. They're not too sweaty. Like I said, the audio experience is really good as well. I think the audio quality is really good when you're listening to music or watching videos. And the last subject that I spoke about was this detachable microphone. And I was maybe being a little bit picky, a little bit critical, but like I said, the only thing is sometimes when I isolate it on this PC, sometimes I found the microphone to be a little bit echoey, but for the most part, I think this microphone is excellent. It's crisp, it's clear, it's loud. And speaking with friends, no one had an issue with this microphone. They all said that it sounded good. So the overall package here is fantastic. The design is good, it's comfortable, the audio is good. There's a lot to like about this. So I'll leave a link down below to the Amazon sales listing to the official website. Check it out more for yourself. Check out other, other reviews before you make a purchase if you need to as well. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please do comment below. And until next time, take care.